welcome back to the channel guys this is episode number five on planting food plots for beginners if you guys are new to the channel please be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions regarding this video subscribe click that bell notification so you guys never miss a video all right guys again we're just hanging out here um, trying to help you guys you know, especially beginners uh, when it comes to food plots so we've already discussed many things leading up to this uh, video now sunlight soil what to plant when to plant location kill plot whether it's a feeding food plot or just you know a food plot just to bow hunt out of next step i want to talk about is fer uh, fertilizer so when you're when you're going to go plant okay a lot of questions come up when they mix that lime in the soil you know should they fertilize no you only want to fertilize with a granular, you know, when you're actually going to plant that seed. And the reason behind that is, you know, if you go to lime your food plot, say you want to lime it in March, okay, and you know you need fertilizer, your MPK, you know, it's low. You don't want to fertilize then because then you're going to, you're just going to encourage weeds to grow. So the whole key is just to fertilize when you actually broadcast that seed. So, the thing with fertilizer is there's a lot of different varieties certain plants require a uh, certain fertilizer so if you're planting clovers you know clovers are nitrogen fixing so they actually you know build the nitrogen level up in the soil so if you wanted to use a fertilizer for that you don't need a high nitrogen level fertilizer so you want to do like maybe like a 5 13 8 or a 5 15 15 you know, 5, 18, 18, something like that. You wouldn't need a high nitrogen level on that first number. That's your nitrogen. So you wouldn't need like a 20, 20, 20 because those clovers are nitrogen fixing. So when you get that soil sample, a lot of times you can tell them what species of plant that you're planting. So if you're getting that soil sample, you can write on there, hey, I'm planting clovers. What's the recommended fertilizer to use? And when you get that soil sample back, they will actually tell you what specific fertilizer to use so you only want to fertilize when you're actually broadcasting that seed and again depending on what you're planting my recommendation is to tell them on that soil sample what you're uh, going to be planting and that way they can recommend a fertilizer to you there's a lot of granulars out there keep in mind that when you go to plant okay or when you go to broadcast your seed you're planting and you're throwing out that fertilizer it's typically about 350 to 400 pounds maybe three to four hundred pounds of a granular fertilizer per acre that's a lot of fertilizer guys and over the years i've learned that the recommendation of fertilizer is so high because when you go to broadcast that into the soil a lot of that is going to be you're going to get a lot of runoff with that so the plants that fertilizer isn't going to be a hundred percent available to that plant because you're going to get your know, runoff especially if you're if you're on a hill you're going to get a lot of runoff that plant can't utilize all of that fertilizer so that's why that number recommended number three to four hundred pounds of fertilizer is so high because the plants can't utilize all that so i'm um, not trying to sell you on this but a second option if you guys are on a budget you know is to use a foiler fertilizer which is we've talked about this many times we just put a video up on this a few days ago is farmers touch mpk which is part of the antler grow family the reason the the farmers touch mpk is so good and popular is because it's a foiler spray and you're giving that directly to the plants so and it costs way cheaper than a granular fertilizer Remember, you need three to four hundred pounds of fertilizer per acre. With the Farmer's Touch MPK, it's a 5138, but you apply that directly to the plant. So if you still wanted to fertilize with a granular, you can take your three to four hundred pound per acre recommendation and not cut that down in half. So you're saving money on that first initial, you know, spread of fertilizer. And then when the plants get three, four, five, six inches tall, then you can you know foiler feed fertilize your plants with the farmer's touch mpk Be, that way it's a hundred percent available to the plant because those plants are ingesting it through 
the plant, the leaves itself. So you can save on the front end, but you're also saving, you know, on the back end. And typically a fertilizer, you know, 50 pound bag is anywhere from, you know, 10 to, you know, 15 to 20, 20 dollars for 50 pounds. And you would need three to 400 pounds of that on your initial, you know, planting. So that adds up with the Farmer's Touch MPK. I think you can fertilize, you know, one acre for like twelve dollars, you know, because it's cheaper because it's a hundred percent available. You don't need as much of that. But it's up to you guys. Either way works. There's no you know wrong or right way when it comes to that. But a lot of people are on a budget. So if you want to do it that way, use the farmer's touch, cut your initial fertilization in half on the on the three to four hundred pounds per acre cut that down to 150 pounds cut it down to 100 pounds that way you still get the mpk nutrients there for the first initial you know start of that plant to grow and then when it gets up four five six seven inches tall then you can foiler feed that with the farmer's touch mpk but it's totally up to you guys i'm just throwing options out there because a lot of people you know we're on a budget so we have to save money so you can save money on the front end but also save money on the back end so you want to fertilize you know on that first initial planting that way there is some nutrients available for that plant to get a good jump start does that make sense so when you are fertilizing you know don't fertilize ahead of time fertilize when you plant so if you're only planting you know a half acre or a quarter acre then you can do the math on that you know the recommendation three to four hundred pounds you know per acre you can cut that back if it's just a half acre you can do 50 pounds of fertilizer 25 pounds or, you know you know what i'm saying or i'm sorry on like a quarter acre you know you might only need 50 pounds you know it's a half acre you know you cut that back to you know 150 pounds and if you're going to foiler feed then you can cut it back even more you can go to like 50 pounds just as long as you have a little bit there on that first initial uh, growth. Make sure you guys are subscribed and you have the bell on so you don't miss any of these videos. Uh, leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions regarding this video. And I will see you guys tomorrow for episode six.